Peace, family. My name is Vicki Diller for African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and share the broadcast. That way other folks are notified that we're here. And how many of you all know that it helps to uh, expand our collective Black voice, as well as you downloading our app for African Diaspora News Channel? Yes, you heard that right. We have our own app. Be sure to download it, beloved. I think you're going to love it. Thank you so very much. Now, family, I want you to look and listen to this recent article from NBC News. This is absolutely humiliating for the Biden administration. It says that Representative Jim Clyburn helped Biden win young black voters in 2020. This time, they're not listening. Family? Well, of course we're not listening. Of course we're not listening. The question is, who in the world are they listening to? Just a little bit of background here. It talks about uh, how the Democratic congressman from South Carolina rattled off a list of ways Trump has insulted Black Americans over the years. He was, uh, it says, sitting in the pews, the largely middle-aged and older congregants applauded the message. The, tr the trouble for Clyburn, it says, 83, is that the people he most needs to hear him weren't the ones listening. The next day, Clyburn cast an early vote for President Biden in South Carolina's Democratic primary, he held a news conference afterward and laid out the stakes. Now, listen to this, y'all. He says, do you want this country to be led by someone who time and time again demonstrates misogynistic tendencies and racist attitudes? He said. Is that what you want? It goes on to talk about how without Clyburn, there may have never been a Biden presidency because in 2020, his endorsement revived Biden's flailing campaign. Of course, we know that, right? But it's talking about now how the polling shows that young black voters are peeling away from Biden in numbers that worry Democratic officials. Now, of course, they didn't want to admit this early on, but this is the power of folks like us, uh, grassroots, independent, alternative media. That's due to us, baby, because mainstream media doesn't talk like us. They're telling you to support them. We're telling you we need to get something for our vote and how to hold them accountable. Of course, this piece goes on to talk about um, how of the young black voters who've grown disenchanted with Biden, Clyburn says, listen to this. I want them to stand in front of me and tell me they will support that to my Trump's record over Joe Biden's record. Well, first of all, when y'all sit here and act like Trump is the only one that says racist stuff, you look crazy. It was Joe Biden that said that America is a doomed partially because of black folks and because white folks are getting ready to beat the minority in 2040. It was Joe Biden that says integration uh, were based, is the equivalent of basically a jungle. It was Joe Biden that instituted and that was the mastermind behind the 94 crime bill. Plus, he supported many more anti-black forms of legislation before he mastermind the 94 crime bill. It was Joe Biden that told us that if we didn't vote for him, that we ain't black. So when you all say racist comments that, that Trump uh, uh, has made, we don't deny that. We're just simply saying that so does Joe Biden. The problem with the Democrats and black Democrat shields is that they want to pretend like Joe Biden is not uh, equally a white supremacist. NBC News polling, it says in 2023, found the black voters overall favored Biden over Trump by 73 to 17 percent, right? 73 to 17 percent. But it came, when it came to voters under the age of 34, the margin shrank. Among that slice of black electorate, Biden support fell to 60 percent. Trump's rose to 28 percent in 2020. Biden won 87 percent of the black voters, including 89 percent of black voters under 29 and 78 percent of those uh 30 to 44. It says any slippage from Biden's base could prove disastrous in another tight election, which is why you should be pushing reparations. Which is why you should not be a hegemonic power all throughout the African continent in the Middle East. Talk black to me, somebody. When you're not pushing reparations, when you are not pushing uh, anti-black protection bill, the same as that y'all gave to the Asians. Talk black to me, somebody, the AAPI community. It's hard to hear what you have to say. When we're seeing that you are literally sending hundreds of billions with a B, hundreds of billions, let me say that again, hundreds of billions of dollars in a matter of a couple of years to Ukraine for a war that has nothing to do with America to serve as your proxy against Russia. 
That's a good down payment for reparations. That's a good start. And we see you playing in our faces and giving all kinds of tangible benefits to everybody but us. That's the reason they're not listening. And we're the only ones that's talking like that, which means they're listening to us. The article goes on to talk about then came Trump's role in the birth of conspiracy that falsely questioned Barack Obama's U.S. citizenship. But the problem with the mainstream media is what they don't tell you is where did Trump get that idea of Obama's birther issue? Do you all know that when he was running for president against Hillary Clinton, the Clinton campaign was the one that started that? Do you all know that before, before Trump, it was Hillary Clinton campaign that first seeded the birth of conspiracy about Barack Obama, who he ended up making his secretary of state. Y'all play too much. The fact that you are delusional about who the Democrats are is a problem for us. Or should I say it's really a problem for you because we're not, as NBC admits, listening to you. That again sp speaks to the power of we who are the independent black grassroots media. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it, beloved. Be sure to check out of my products and services, especially my low-cost school, the Vicky Dealer Mystery School on my website at vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I planet.com, vickiplanet.com. Be sure, of course, to share the broadcast here. I can't wait to see you again.